You delivered my letter. Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. It should help you, a trainer. A Pokemon holding that the XP shell will be given some of the experience points from battle. You will get experience points even if it didn't actually battle. I would say the XP shell is quite useful for a single week Pokemon. Guess how long it took me until I realized that I could get this at this point in the game. Uh, good afternoon everybody, my name is Xavier and welcome back once again to Pokemon Sapphire Connection Lock. Uh, last week we were able to defeat the third gym leader Watson. Well, at a great cost, as we lo sadly lost our precious food, Mighty Yena Jelly, the Jolly, the Jolly Roger of the sea. It was a sad loss, actually, but sadly, after morning for an entire week, I have to, I decided to move on, and that's what he would have wanted, so we are gonna continue. But before we do that, let me tell you about something real quick. I've just realized- wait, hold on, there's an item here. Anyways, what I was saying is that I just realized that I cannot- that it's, it's gonna be difficult to train Ceviche because I can only switch her with Peanut Butter and because otherwise it will break the rules of the connection lock. So, uh, as a compromise, I was able to figure out something. As you can see, I got the experience share in the intro, so I guess I could use this to give Ceviche some, H some XP, even if she in battle, so that's gonna be useful and... I guess Peanut Butter is gonna stay there uh, alone, uh, he probably needs time to mourn the loss of his partner, so yeah, let's give him, let's give him some time. Uh, so, without further ado, let's begin. And here we are at Route 111, also known as Route 111. Oh look, no, uh, family, uh, actually we need to switch out because it's gonna be a couple of tough battles, so I need fly for this and fix as well. Hello. Hello, I think it you're a traveler. How's this? What do you say to taking on our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? Yeah, why not? That's the spirit. I like you. Okay, our first opponent is gonna be Win Straight Victor, who has a Halo. Or he used to have a Halo, but not anymore. And also a Sixagoon, which is not gonna last very long. Ah yeah, you're a lot tougher than I expected. Thank you, I take pride in that. Ah, uh, the second opponent is the Matriarch win straight Victoria who has a Roselia. Let's hope I don't get poisoned, please don't poison me, please, please, please don't poison me. Oh gosh, I can't get over how strong you are. There's a strong trainer here, this one's really strong. You're stronger than mommy? Wow, but I'm strong too, really, honestly. We'll see about that. Uh, next opponent is Winstrade Bibi, the daughter, who has a Meryl. Not a bad choice, not a bad choice. But not enough against my pizza. I guess it's gone now, I guess. Ah, uh, did I just lose? This stinks! Snevel Grandma! How dare you make my granddaughter cry! For that I'm going to smack you! Prepare to lose! Oh, I am scared of this old lady. Yeah, the final opponent is the strongest member of the team, Win Straight Picky, who has a Meditide. A Meditide with high jump kick, so I should definitely switch. Yeah, I should definitely take down that Meditide as soon as I can. Confusion! Ah uh, yeah, uh, Sly, can you please kill that Pokemon immediately because I don't want to get hit by high jump kit. Attack! Oh, come on. Dude, you real? For real?
you are strong, my granddaughter was right. Thank you, I appreciate that. If you're not in any hurry, visit us with us a while. Well, I am actually in a hurry, so I just gonna ignore that. It looks like there's some rocks we smash, so let's see if we can smash them. And I hope I don't run into a... Yeah, I don't run into any dude, so let's fly... Oh, wait. Alright, I forgot the press. Oh, we just spotted a tough-looking trader here of all players. Okay, roll camera, let's get this interview. Wait, get, get, get this off. <clears throat> It's gonna be a fun throw battle. At a uh, rock smash, I uh, know actually strength the whisper and call mine. It's gonna be a one hit KO, I can feel it. Well, you got defeated in double style, I guess. Headbutt and rock... Wait, I mean rock smash and confusion. My bad. My bad. First heaven. My eyes didn't lie. I did discover an astonishing trainer. Awesome, awesome. Who are you? I knew we were into something well when we spotted you. Oh, please, let me explain. We travel around everywhere interviewing all sorts of trainers. So would you give us a bit of your time for an interview? I uh, no thank you, I know you're a yellow journalist and I do not want to get my words taken out of context and ridicule. So who's next? I don't know where you're going, but would you like to paddle? I'm full of pep, and my Pokemon is Peppy too. I mean, you mean Pokemon singular or, two, or plural? Oh, you actually have a cute Sanshu. I wonder if I can take it. I'm bulky, I th it seems. No matter, I'm pretty sure that eventually we will be able to take down this sensor with Fury Cutter. And that is impossible. Oh well, would you look at that? Pancake is so fast that he was able to speed up this whole fight so we can defeat it faster. My Pokemon lost its pep. I don't know what pep means, but it sounds bad. Anyways, we are in a new area now, Route 112, which means that there's a Pokemon to catch. And I need to get myself ready. Okay, now I'm ready and let's see, our catch for this area is none other than... Drum roll, please! Oh, this is both good and bad. Good because it's a good Pokemon, bad because uh, Pixie, I don't think Pixie might, might be able to take many hits from this matchup. Uh, I think I should probably use another rock smash and then switch to my friend over there. And I have Karate Shop, which has a high critical freak ratio. Okay, I should probably switch. Ouch. Uh, Great Ball Go! Okay, that was just sweet. Okay, I need the auto roll for something later, so I'm just gonna use another break to see what happens. And we got ourselves a Machop, a good Pokemon. I cannot. Wait, actually, the, actually, we can actually turn into Machamp, actually. I'm not bad. Super power Pokemon. Matchup are decided by hefting around a graveler as if it were a barbell. There are some matchups that travel the world in a quest to master all kinds of martial arts. That sounds good, but you know what else is good? 
mashed potatoes because it's the only thing that requires a lot of strength. Okay, I'm gonna call you mash P. At this, at this rate we have pin, wait no, peanut butter, wait no, I should know that's peanut P actually. Back in this area and let's see who wants to fight me. I'm strong, I won't cry if I lose. That's pretty brave of you, I'm gonna lie. Six Sagoon versus Pancake! Use Fury Cutter! And... wait, no, actually no. Fury Cutter again! And again! Oh my god, this move is gonna hurt! Like a lot, because quadruple weaknesses. Wow. Hey, you wanna fight? When you're on a picnic, why you simply have to sing? Come on, sing nice. Anyways, we're gonna continue with our path and we are gonna ignore those hikers because Half of our team is weak to like rock and I don't think uh, Peanut Pea is still up and running to be able to fight so we're gonna ignore them we're gonna ignore them and go to this next area Okay, here in the fiery path, fiery path, I don't know how it's spelled, you can get a new catch and that catch is none other than... Oh thank goodness we have a dupes clause Our next catch is a... Grimer. Is that like... Oh wait, actually no, it's actually a very common Pokemon actually. I think I should probably use Rock Smash because I... This Pokemon has low defense, so... Physical defense, so I don't know if, I, if it's a good idea to attack it with strength because Pixel would kill that Grimer in a single hit. Okay, stop. You can stop now. You can stop now, my friend. You can stop. I should probably switch. I have no idea what the stench is and I don't wanna find out. I definitely need the, old, the Great Ball for this. Great Ball, go! And please catch this Pokemon, please. Otherwise, we are done for. And we got ourselves a uh, Grimer! Okay, Grimer emerged from the slush that fell on polluted seabed. This Pokemon loves anything filthy. It constantly leaks a horrible germ infested fluid from all over its body. What can I name you that is food related? I could call you. There you go, corn candy! Nobody like nobody likes that. I never know understood why, but I guess that's how routine goes and I forgot the Pokemon are poison. I have uh, antidotes. I did not buy a ton of antidotes. Holy smokes, I have a lot of po super potions. Oh well. Better, better safe than sorry, I guess. Let's get out of this cave and see what wait, awaits us. Round 112. I think this is the area where I got a uh, matchup, so I'm gonna ignore it. Hey, hello, friend. Wanna talk? Show me comment to toughen up your Pokemon. As I was saying, this is probably gonna be one of the longest episodes uh, as of now because it is a huge area that we are traversing until the next destination, so yeah, that. Also, I just realized that Wilmer's eyes are just dots. Look at it, you cannot even see it right now, they look like dots. Small dots that are adorable and terrifying at the same time. Also, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, you only live once. I see, you've toughened them considerably. Thank you. Oh, what's this guy doing here? What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know, I'll give you this TM. Will you use it to make your own room? Yeah.
Final Big Tree, it looks like it might drop some vines. You strip power in front of the tree, so some vines you get free and drop down so you can climb the tree. You find a lot of space for doing your favorite things. I'll be your own secret room, a secret base. You should make one too. Another thing, you don't always have to make your secret base in a tree. Try using secret power on a rock wall so I have small incident from them. And I'm going to look for other places too. Okay, bye. Well, guess what I'm not doing today. Okay, now that we're back, let's see if we can challenge the other trainers around here. Hello! Oh, you Pokemon look like serious actors. I have to ask you for an engagement. Okay, we are on Route 113, and you don't know what that means! New Pokemon! And that Pokemon is none other than... Okay, that okay. I, wait, why am I feeling bad? Sandshrew is a good Pokemon. Actually, the best option that I could I could have gotten in this area because Skarmory can be difficult to catch, and I don't know if Spinda is good or not. So yeah, Sandshrew is okay. Okay, it's on the low health, so hey, Pokeball, go! One, two, three. And just like that, we got ourselves a Sandshrew. Sandshrew, the mouse Pokemon. One of many mouse Pokemon. Sandshrew has a very dry hide that is extremely tough. That Pokemon can roll into a ball that repels any attack. At night, it burrows into a desert sand to sleep. Well, this Sandshrew reminds me a lot of cheese, so I guess... Uh... Wait, no, I actually just realized a name. Cinnamon, because it's a cinnamon roll. Probably misspelled that, but who cares? Now that that's out of the way, let's see if we can challenge some trainers along the way. Hey, you, fight me! Can you guess why it's so cool around here? Because of the because of the environment and the music. Probably because of that. Oh my goodness, trappings is not as adorable here as it is in later games. It is a shame, really. Also, this episode should probably be subtitled uh, the Pancake episode because I'm only even using Pancake this entire episode. And that's because I was, uh, I was a dumb dumb and forgot to train Pancake to level 24. And it happens to be the Pokemon that takes the longest to, to level up. Ah, silly me, silly me. Oh look, Linoon. I'm pretty sure we can beat this Linoon, no problem. Especially now that we're faster. Fury Cutter! I'm gonna lie, that was a little bit of overkill, but honestly, who cares? Phew, that stinks! Fight me! From out of the ashes, I leap. Hiya! I challenge thee! Confuse them all before they can explode, Sly! Please! Remember what happened to the uh, to last time a Pokemon face uh, self-destruct? It wasn't pretty. It wasn't. With honor, I admit defeat. Now that I'm done with that, let's see who has in store. I use this parasol to ward off this filthy, junky volcanic ash from my dear Nomo. Imagine considering Ash disgusting. Ash is a pretty cool character. Oh, I mean the ash from the volcano, not the anime. Okay. Wait a minute, and this novel has Oblivious, so uh, basically Sly used Trace to get Oblivious, so basically Sly became an anime protagonist. What? Yeah, yo! Oh, oh, I'm exhausted. Oh look, a double battle, let's fight them. Both of us, we collect ashes, we battle Pokemon too. Okay, let's see what lies ahead, because they have my bug duo against your team of... Wismer. But it's okay, you have, you, are no, you have no chance against Pancake and Waffle, the indestructible duo. Oh, 
Okay, maybe they're not an instructor, but um, I that could be worse. One of them is down, what about the other? We couldn't win exploring, so I'm getting some more ashes. My goodness, this place is filled with wild encounters. Like I found, I found like twelve count and count twelve encounters on this area alone. Moving on, we are gonna ignore that ninja over there because it has a ninja, and I'm not in the mood for a ninja versus ninja action. Not yet, at least. And we're gonna ignore that because that Pokemon will definitely kill Pancake, so moving on. Anyways, here we are at Fallabore Town, which means that this is the end of the episode, and yeah, that's it. Because next week, uh, we're gonna continue exploring Fireboard Towns and see what lies ahead in this side of Hoenn. Thank you, as always, for watching, it's always uh, enjoyable having you around. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on YouTube, I mean subscribe on YouTube, leave a bell, and leave a comment and stuff like that. Oh my god, I'm missing things up. Anyways, thank you, uh, thank you for your support, it makes everything and, uh, possible and I love you. I uh, hope to see you next time, take good care of yourselves and I'll see you all later. Goodbye everybody, love you all.